guys, it is me Green and welcome back to another current household video. So you may recognise at least one of these sims, <laughs> which is the man. This is the Rhodes family which I showed you in September where there was only three members of the family. They are living in a different house, same, well, different house, and obviously many more kids as you can probably tell. So this is Marcus and he was in our last current household. He's still the same age. <coughs> My voice is going all weird. I'm pretty sure he's still in the same job I think. I, I don't even think he had a job last time. I can't remember but anyway he's in this science career Thing. So in case he didn't have a job last time, he's in the science career this time. I have no idea why. Um, no idea why he's in the science career. He, he just is. So yeah, I think that's just something I wanted him to be in. And as you can see, he does have quite a bit more stuff added onto his skills. For example, he is now nearly a level 2 in cooking, or maybe nearly a level 3 in cooking. I'm not quite sure how this works, so I'm going to say he's nearly a level 3 in cooking <coughs> and nearly a level 4 in fitness and everything. Um, I'm not going to bother with his friends or anything. And just to remind you how his things is, Jesus, apparently 74 days until he's an adult. Oh, that's going to have to change, I think. Uh, until, yeah, until he's an adult. Oh my god, he's a young adult and he had, and oh my god. I think I desperately need to grow these up. He's a young adult and he has a teenage daughter. Anyway, but Marcus is romantic, ambitious, a bro on high metabolism. Metabolism, should I say. Um. Okay. So, how many times? <laughs> okay. As always, that's good. He's never wet himself. That's good. Bathroom breaks. 34. Cool. Okay. So, that's more or less Mark. Um, nothing's changed that much about him. I don't think anything has changed apart from maybe his top. I, I really don't know what has changed about Mark. But we're going to go on to Emily, who has changed quite a bit. Um. Let's hope I can get the camera angle on her properly because my mouse likes to be a douchebag most of the time. But, um, yeah, my mouse is being stupid, but whatever. Okay, so not that you can see properly, but whatever. I keep saying, but whatever. You should comment how many times I say, but whatever, down below, just because. I'm annoying like that. Um, I tell you what, let's just quickly stand her up. Ah. Let's have her go ah. into the back garden. <laughs> that way we can actually probably see her a little bit better for you guys. Okay, there we go. So this is Emily. And she... I think her name is Emily anyway. <laughs> yeah, so she was also in our last current household as a mother. She was like probably a completely different to you. Like the only thing I haven't changed is obviously her body shape and her facial shape and everything else. I did change her makeup on everything. So I thought I'd just give her a little makeover. And yeah, she looks pretty cute to me. Um so she doesn't have a career anymore because it was kind of getting a bit annoying with all the babies that she kept reproducing like every 30 minutes. <laughs> but as you can see she's nearly a level 8 or 9 in cooking again. I'm not quite sure which way that works out yet because I'm going to presume she's going up to a level 9 in cooking. Um, that's really her uh, high skill. Because, yeah. Um, yeah, but again, we need to grow hair up as well because she does have a teenage daughter. Hmm. Maybe she could have just had her daughter when she was really, really, really young. Okay, but anyway, she is a foodie, a bookworm, family oriented, and essence of the flavour. I thought that said flaw, then this was like flavour. So, yeah, 
I don't think she's probably going to get a job back because, to be honest, I haven't really played on this family in about two and a half weeks. So I thought I'd just show you them in case I decide to, like, delete them from my screen. Because I honestly don't play on them anymore because I have a different family, but I'm still kind of working on those so I don't really want to show you. But they're going to kind of have another idea for a different family, so I guess you'll have to wait until my next current household next month to find out what happened with them. Um, but yeah, enough of her because nobody wants to sit there looking at her forever. Okay, so as you can see... Wow. Wow. I spent 1,000 simulums on kids stuff. Wow. Oh, and um, just so that you guys know, they had enough money so I kind of built this house for them but I didn't really build it, I just kind of placed the rooms because I just suck at building so yeah. Um, this is Victoria who was a child in our last current household and yeah, yeah, a child in our last current household. So you guys have already met her and kind of got to know her a little bit but she Kinda looks a bit like Emily to me, but with Marcus's cut, car, 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 hair colour. Um, she doesn't have a job, but she is in high school. She's a C student, apparently. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> and she doesn't really have that many skills, because to be honest, all she does is get up, eat, sleep. No, rephrase. Get up. Eat, school, homework, sleep. She has no social life whatsoever, maybe apart from on the weekends if she's lucky. Um, but yeah, maybe I'm gonna work on that. But she is apparently four to six days until she's an adult, but you know. That seems kinda of right. Um she's an art lover, a domestic, and loves the outdoors. And I think she does want to have like a big happy family, yeah. I think. I'm gonna go with yeah. So maybe she would get that but I I don't really think she will because yeah. I don't know, maybe we'll move on maybe I'll move on with Victoria and kinda of see what goes there. But yes. Um on to our next born. Which is Gavin, which in the last current household that I did, Emily was actually pregnant with Gavin but you couldn't actually see Gavin. So Gavin was our second born slash first born son. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, he's a level C student as well. <laughs> I think they're all level C. He has way more skills than Victoria, as you can see, because he's a little bit more active than Victoria. Um, Victoria just kind of sits around and does nothing all day. Um, but yeah, he's having pizza for breakfast, so yay. Um, he, you know, he has creativity skills, mental, motor, social, and all that fun stuff. In, yeah. He's active apparently, and he has 46 days until he's a teenager. I'll probably grow him up before that because, as you can see, my house is crazy full of children. Yeah. So I find it funny how, so far, they all came out with Marcus's hair colour. So until our third born, which is, um, Callum. Yeah, this is Callum, so I think he does actually look kind. I, don't, I see more of Emily in him, to be honest. But, you know, that again, he comes out with Marcus's hair, hair colour because, let's just face it, I guess none of my other sims want to be like a dirty blonde colour, but that's okay. I can cope with that. So, again, level C because why not? Um, same skills as Gavin. And yeah, but he is a bookworm because he loves books, although he never actually reads books because yeah. And he is... Wow, 46 days. Wow. Okay, so that was more or less Callum. Nothing really too much about him. I'm thinking maybe when he gets older he's going to be kind of a book writer if I decide not to delete them or anything. But I'm definitely looking at like, book writer terms with him. So onto our fourth child fourth person to come out of Emily. We have Rachel. She's just so cute. 
But again, as you can probably see, let me just see if we can get a better face angle on her. Okay. So this is Rachel, as I've already said like a thousand times. Um, I can only see more of Marcus in her than I do Emily. But again, you know, black hair, but hey, whatever hair she wants to have, she can have. So she is apparently a social butterfly. Meet, meet 10 new sims? Girl, I don't have time to make you meet 10 new sims. You'll have to go to school and do that. Um, but yes, do you have any skills? She has the same skills as everybody else for some reason. Let me show you her outfit really quick because I think it's so adorable. I just, I don't know why, I don't really love her outfit. Although, I don't know why she's wearing those kind of shoes, but... Yeah. Maybe I'm just weird like that, but she is cheerful. And apparently she has 46 days till she goes off and off. Just, we're going to be having like three teenagers grow on the same day. So on to our last and final baby of the household. I know, call me crazy, right? But this is August. She's really, really cute. No idea what colour hair she's going to grow out with. Because even, I don't know, but you know, you know, probably just because I know I'm not going to save this video. This um, thingy, anyway, because it's not like I did anything important with it. I'm going to grow up because I really- Oh my god! She has blonde hair. Um, let's see where is that and let's pick her as active. She has blonde hair. Okay, so this is August and she is a girl, isn't she? Oh boy, god, I hope she's a girl and I didn't just name her. Name him August. <laughs> that would have been funny, but... This is August is going to grow up to be a creepy version of Emily, apparently. Hmm. Yeah. But she has the blonde hair. She has the blonde hair. You know, I just want to quickly change. If I don't, then it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, this is what August is going to look like, just in case I don't actually continue with this family and grow up and everything. But I'm going to go now, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.